In the last video, we looked at the Aka website, we downloaded the Aka library, and added it to our Eclipse project, and then we wrote a little code. We created an actor class that had to have a receive method in it. We made an actor system, and then we used that system to build a new actor. Finally, we finished off by passing some messages to the actors to see how it would respond. One of the things that's worth noting here is that while we called this variable actor, the type that's inferred for it is not the type simple actor, nor is it the type actor. The type is actor ref. This is actually one of the strengths of Akka, and it was one of the problems with the previous Scala actor library. I put this method foo inside of here. And the thing about the actor ref is that I can't call foo on it because actor is not a simple actor. It is an actor ref. And so I can't directly call methods. This is a good thing. Remember, the key to the actor system working was the fact that I couldn't call methods because the methods interleave threads. I can only pass messages and the messages are handled, they're pulled from a queue and they are handled one at a time. So this basically eliminates many types of race conditions. So the fact that I can't call methods because I didn't actually get an actor is helpful. The actor ref type wraps around the actor and it provides the message box handling so that when new messages are received that can start up the actor on its thread and have it process those messages. Another thing to note is that Akka, uh, the current version of Akka, they're actually working on a, a change to this, but the current version of Akka, the messages are of type any. And that was why we could have a message that was a string or a message that was an int. You'll also notice that there was no checking here. So I sent our actor a type that it doesn't deal with. That actually doesn't cause a problem. When we run this code, it is perfectly happy. It says after character and nothing crashed there. That's part of what makes the actor systems robust, though it can be challenging at times. That's why they're wor working on a project, Akka Typed, which is a more type safe version of the Akka library. Another thing about this program is the fact that it is not terminating itself. Now you can make a system stop by putting system dot shutdown and that will cause the system to go through a, uh, a shutdown process. As you can see this is deprecated and part of the problem here is that there might still be actors that are sitting around waiting for messages and that need to to handle various things. Um, so we have to look kind of in other places for ways to nicely bring down our system and to make it so that we can stop the threads for the actors that are running in ways that don't do bad things to the resources that we're running on. So that kind of gives us a look at this application. We'll come back in a future video and we'll start making more types of actors and deal with actors communicating with one another as opposed to just having the main thread communicate with our actor.